Okay, I don't know about you, but my Instagram ads have been getting increasingly harder to resist lately. I'm generally pretty good about avoiding ads. I take the time to review my data and settings every so often, and I don't even spend that much time on Instagram anyway, so why is this happening? How do Instagram ads work? I tried doing some research, but all I could find were videos telling me how to promote myself on Instagram, which is not what I'm looking for. So let's talk about it. Welcome to Your Website Sucks, the Instagram ads episode. My biggest problem right now, my main beef with Instagram, at least on my page, I don't know about yours, but every three posts, like clockwork. It's an ad. Just look at this. Hopefully nothing scandalous pops up. Post, 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 ad. Post, 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 ad. That's ridiculous. And we're just like, this is okay? Why? You know what I think it is? I think it's Instagram applying Miller's law, which is that people can usually only keep track of three to seven items in their short-term memory. So by the time that you see the next ad, you've already forgotten about the previous one. Let's show you something else. Not only are there so many ads in the feed, but they're in every facet of the app. There's no escape. There is no escape. So with such a high ad density, you're bound to find something that you find interesting. My theory, okay. Allegedly, even if you pause on an ad for 0.0000001 seconds longer than you do on your posts, Instagram is taking notes, and now they have a better idea of which ads pique your interest and what to show you in the future. So the moral of the story is that you just shouldn't pay attention to the ads, right? Most people I've talked to just say, well, it's easy to just ignore them and keep swiping. <laughs> One problem with this is that there isn't that much of a visual difference between your friend's organic posts and the platform's sponsored posts. Not to mention that companies can also just directly embed purchases into their reels and posts, and influencers are partnered with brands all the time. <laughs> Which is fine, but it's part of the problem. The transition between something that's posted for fun and then something that is posted with the intent to get you to purchase something, it's way too blurred, specifically on Instagram. Especially on my feed where half of my friends are promoting music they've released. I want to support them, but more often than not, I mistake them for an ad and I just keep swiping. It's all starting to look way too similar. Instagram doesn't want to break you from the flow state that you're in. They want you to do one of two things, keep swiping or click on an ad. Another issue that I have with Instagram's current advertising structure is that Instagram is already notorious for being everyone's highlight reels. There are pages and pages and pages dedicated to the Instagram versus reality phenomenon. People editing their photos, even editing their kids. I mean, I'm guilty of that. I don't have kids, but let's just say I know exactly what to ask the doctor for if I go in for plastic surgery. Instagram is a breed ground for comparison, whether it's what you look like, what your house looks like, the things you have. It doesn't matter what you're comparing yourself to because Instagram knows about it and they're using it against you. So after a while of scrolling and comparing yourself, then you start to get into a kind of a negative headspace. And this is the perfect opportunity for Instagram to take advantage of the effect heuristic. They're showing you an advertisement that says, hey, wouldn't life be so much better if you just had this, if you just looked like this, if you just bought this? I have a personal untested theory that the longer you scroll, the more likely you are to click on an ad, just to find something to make you feel better. This emotional exploitation plus the ad bombing just breaks you down and becomes very effective. And to really kick you while you're down, Instagram also uses your friends, your family, people you trust to make sponsored posts even more intriguing. It's kind of eerie and manipulative. Social proof is extremely important in marketing. Users adapt their behavior based on what other people do. If you see that your friend likes a certain brand, you remember that. You keep that in the back of your mind, and then the next time that you see the brand, you associate that with your friend. Oh, I remember Jordan liked this brand. That means it's probably good. This might be a reason why you're thinking, why do I keep seeing the same ads? Because in order for this to work, they have to show it to you again and again. So let's talk a little bit about Instagram's target targeted advertising and data collection practices. Targeted marketing isn't a new concept, but it's so much more intense than it has ever been before. I used to have targeted advertising on mobile disabled, but Instagram is telling me that Apple removed this feature in a recent update. Okay. I'll look into that later. To respect your previous choice, we're not showing you personalized ads based on data about your activities from partners. Okay, that sounds nice. At least they didn't turn it on by default now that that setting is gone. But it's weird because they keep that information anyway. You can still see which ads I've interacted with from the last couple of months, so why bother keeping that information in the first place if you're telling me that you're not going to use it? So because I've turned off partner sharing, my ads interests are just based on information collected by the app, not from partners, and it's still generally pretty accurate. So is there no way to stop online tracking? They get all of this from information and content that I provide? Okay, fair enough. Networks and connections? Weird, but okay. Your usage, including the time, frequency, and duration of activities, so I guess that validates my earlier theory. Transactions, things my friends do, my device information, and information from partners. Hopefully that's not if I've already turned off that setting. And what do they use all this information for? Ads, 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 ads. <sighs> 
Maybe most of you already saw the news from May, but the app Signal was calling out Facebook and Instagram for their extreme ad targeting capabilities. The Instagram Signal ads were banned pretty much as soon as they were released. You got this ad because you're a newlywed Pilates instructor and you're cartoon crazy. This ad uses your location to see you're in South Atlanta and you're either vegan or lactose intolerant and you're really feeling that yoga lately. Signal wrote a blog post about it, which I'll link in the description if you want to read more, but Facebook is more than willing to sell visibility into people's lives unless it's to tell people about how they're data is being used. Being transparent about how ads use people's data is apparently enough to get banned. In Facebook's world, the only acceptable usage is to hide what you're doing from your audience. In other words, the Instagram ads audience targeting feature is so powerful that they don't want you to know how the sausage is made. They just want you to eat it. So what can you do? The good news is that Instagram says that they don't sell your personal information unless it's part of a bankruptcy or merger, and you can limit them from using and sharing specific information. Right now, there's no way to limit the amount of ads that Instagram shows you outside of just limiting your use of Instagram in general. I find myself spending less and less time on the app anyway because of the plethora of ads embedded in my feed. It's becoming pretty unusable in my experience. So sure, you can just try to ignore all of the ads, but I don't know. I feel like there should be some kind of limit on the amount of sponsored posts that Instagram can show you in a given browsing session. Right now, there are just way too many. There are already limits on the amount or kinds of advertisements that we can broadcast on TV, depending on the country. And in China, their Facebook equivalent, WeChat, is only allowed to show two to three advertisements per day. It's possible. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you again right here next Tuesday for another new video. Okay, bye. <laughs>